Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Jay's Mech Battle Pack set. This is set number 71805. It has 78 pieces, and I paid $10 for this set, so I thought this was really interesting. I don't know if Ninjago has really done battle packs in the past. I'm used to battle packs kind of in sometimes Marvel, like the blister packs or bubble packs will sometimes do that, but I mostly associate battle packs with um, Star Wars Lego sets, where you might get like a small build and several um, different, you know, droids, antagonists, you know, troopers, uh, clones. Jedi different a bunch of different stuff but you might get a, a selection of figures and that's kind of mostly what they're for I also associate uh, battle packs kind of with the mass ability um, which uh, you mean meaning like you can get a bunch of the battle pack to do some army building or something like that and I don't necessarily see this as fitting that same kind of um, deal but uh, this one also is you know 78 pieces which is some uh, maybe smaller than a lot of the other battle packs that I just mentioned um, it's also cheaper so a lot of the battle packs I know are usually like $20 roughly but can be sometimes be found on sale for like 16 this one's just 10 retail price um, and then there was a recent Star Wars one that I haven't looked at yet but I'm excited to because it had like the super battle droids back um, and that one's like $30 but it does have you know a good amount of stuff here so anyway, I thought this was really interesting. I've already looked at some of the elemental mechs for um, Kai, uh, Cole, and Sora, and this one released alongside of those, and I just thought this was a really interesting idea for a set and potentially a really good deal, so I decided to pick it up. So in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So until then... Enjoy! Okay, so here we have the Lego Ninjago uh, Dragons Rising Jay's Mech Battle Pack set. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is interesting. This is about what it says um, on the box, and I think this is pretty sufficient, actually, and, and kind of cool. I, I hope they do more of these. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm and maybe they don't have to be, like, mech necessarily they could be other kind of smaller ninjago type builds or something but i think this is really great uh actually uh, i like it more than i thought i would um but there's some stuff to look at so we will get right into it the first thing we'll look at is the minifigures like we normally do so the first one we have here is jay it has the kind of newer older dual molded kind of head uh like hood piece with the mask there they have two katanas as accessories right now so that is that and we can take off the headpiece there we can see jay's kind of got some lightning stuff on the eye black there the alternate face has a different expression with some freckles and different stuff here looking at the torso it's similar to some of the other ninjago characters i've seen from this wave where we have kind of their emblem some metallic stuff under there some good nice uh small lines small details everywhere printing on the midsection printing on the legs down to the feet uh really like that very little gap between kind of where the printing for the uh, tie or belt around the waist there which is is good no printing on the arms back of the torso is very similar to some of the other ones with like different printing up here but uh, again good detail there and i think this is great you know jay jay is not my favorite color i do like the lightning theme of stuff but i do think i like Maybe Zane and Kai and Sora and Cole might be more my thing, um, but the production of this is really good. And then 
the other one we have here, which I don't know how many times this has appeared at all, but this is Master Lloyd. So um, Lloyd has achieved the uh, ranking of Master or title, I think, at some point during Dragon's Rising. So um, they now, uh, Lloyd now adopts kind of the Master color scheme, which I think previously was, uh, you know, associated with Master Wu or something like that. So this is really interesting. It doesn't have, uh, Lloyd doesn't have the typical kind of Ninjago mask here, but it's still dual molded. He's got the headband and the hair piece dual molded there, so that's really nice. We can see one face here for Lloyd and another face for Master Lloyd. They have a an accessory here that's not quite a katana. It's a little different. It has the tassel at the bottom, so that's uh, very nice. And then looking at the torso, we have kind of the master dress here, master robes with some extra kind of dragons rising logos with the dragon orb up there, a chain going between them, some metallic stuff, uh, really good detail. It's nice and different from uh, the other ones, which is good, but fitting a, a master. And then we have printing on the midsection, printing on the legs, no printing on the feet, which a lot of the other Ninjago characters had for this, but I think this makes sense. Uh, I really like this color scheme kind of the white and gold I think that's really great and then looking at the back we have kind of that dragons rising orb logo there with some really good metallic printing and stuff so I think this is really great to get um, master Lloyd in this set and then we get two more minifigures so four total and the first one we've I've looked at in other sets uh, I think Sora's mech like elemental tech mech had one of these uh, they all kind of had one but this is a wolf mask warrior and this is a wolf mask claw warrior so it does have these claws as little accessories here so i will put that aside and uh the wolf mask i've looked at before production works good dual molding the head underneath there has some really detailed printing with some interesting colors nice metallic prints alternate face so really good to see that this one does have kind of the pauldrons there torso is similar to all the other wolf mask warriors uh, with some good detail printing on the midsection printing on the legs including the feet so tons of really good stuff here i like these figures a lot no printing on the arms looking at the back we have kind of the wolf mask logo there um, so that's very good and then we get another character which i think is called like the wolf mask guard or wolf faction guard or something like that so this was interesting this is one that's i think it didn't appear in um you know any of the other elemental mech sets that released alongside this so this is good they don't have the wolf mask they actually have a hood here which looks like a palpatine hood or, or something like that but in this kind of uh different color they have a crossbow here for a uh, accessory so i'll move that and then removing the hood you know everything else about this is the same as the other um wolf characters so the torso is the exact same the head underneath the hood is the same same alternate face same back uh print logo there like that and same printing on the midsection same printing on the legs so those are similar but uh or you know very much the same but the accessories do differentiate them um a good amount uh so i think that's nice and it's interesting to see one without the wolf mask on them and then the rest of the set is this jay's mech here so this is really small uh and i you know intentionally so it feels uh, almost like some of the four plus mechs that i've seen ninjago do but um, with some smaller pieces so i don't think this would be a four plus one and in fact this is a six plus one but it feels like similar in size and scale so it's very very small we do use the standard kind of torso piece here with the printed tile the dragon orb tile i wasn't familiar with this uh, mech piece for the back of that but it serves its purpose well well uh, so we can fit a minifigure in there the arms are done pretty much the same they use the mixel kind of ball joints they have uh, kind of that pale yellow for kind of that lightning blue theme some gold kind of stuff for the pauldrons on this arm the hand is not 
quite a hand but it has two stud shooters on it that has these kind of translucent light blue uh, studs there's two in there and you get two extras uh, so that's good and this has some decent articulation you could probably shoot this across the front uh, you could probably you know raise this up and oh you know there's there's some limits to it but you can probably aim this uh, a lot of different ways and now I'm having lots of pieces fall off so maybe that is a a sign that it has some limited um, kind of uh, range of motion there but uh, this could also be turned so these are vertical here uh, so you can get it like that and get uh, some good some good you know kind of play there with these stud shooters and the other arm is very much the same but the hand is different again kind of mixel joints here and this one kind of has this sword or staff or blade here uh, that uses a couple pieces does have the tassel on the bottom which is nice just a bar element here two clip pieces to keep that sturdy you know upside down gold stud and then there's a technic axle between this and the blade and again this can kind of be uh positioned pretty well all things considered you know if we get the arm kind of like that you can bring it in close you can bring it across um and you know there's some good swiping good good range of motion i think overall especially for something this basic and then like some of the other ones i was very happy to see that this has a waist as well it's not the same piece because that would be a little big here but it just has a technic pin in the bottom so that's very good so you can also aim the stud shooters with that you can also kind of get some swiping action with the sword or staff or spear or whatever with that and then looking at the legs again these are exactly the same uh, very simple just two pieces for kind of like the thigh area there kind of that mixel joint at the hip and then no knee or anything like that but we have a, another joint that is kind of the knee is kind of the ankle kind of area there and then the feet are exactly the same following the kind of color scheme here and it very much mirrors to me kind of uh, Jay's color scheme so like some of this darker color is on the lower half and then the lighter blue is on the upper half there which I I think is really smart and you know this is relatively stable given how small and simple it is you know the set overall I think including all the minifigure pieces and accessories is uh, 78 pieces so there's not much going on in here you can probably count them just from looking at it uh, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I don't, I'm not gonna go through and count it all but there's not a ton of pieces in here one of the things I really do like about this is we have clips on the back so that is to hold uh, Jay's two katanas I always appreciate when they add space for uh, minifigure accessories so they can operate their uh, machinery or their mech or their uh, you know vehicle or whatever and bring those accessories with them I think that helps a lot for display and storage and also play so they don't get lost I also think it adds kind of an extra little detail some of the other ones like um, Kai's and Sora's kind of had some stuff going on back here like this or on the shoulders or on the arms and I think this is like a miniaturized version of that that really really works for me so uh, I'm pretty happy with this you know it's not super crazy it's a very very basic mech smaller pieces proportionally it looks a little bit weird just because like the chest piece is maybe big compared to the legs and the arms and stuff but I think it works uh, here it doesn't feel too crazy it feels stable enough and like the wolf mech in the Kai's fire elemental set this one's light enough that these mixel joints kind of uh, do a pretty serviceable job in um, getting this together and I can get it on one foot relatively easy there so that's good so you can have it stand kind of on one foot you can have it you know probably uh, kicking forward like that so you can get it standing uh, like that as well which is very good whoops I knocked it over so you know as far as a super tiny mech goes this is pretty fun pretty serviceable but you know it is a battle pack and one of the 
things for a battle pack like i said at the beginning is kind of that army building potential uh but also like the minifigures here and you know traditionally i think for certain minifigures maybe stuff with ip attached to it uh the rough value is like five dollars per minifigure for normal sets i don't really like putting that value on them if they're like a rare minifigure or something like that their value could be a lot more but for kind of generic minifigures that you might get a lot of uh i don't think of them as being five dollars per but i think lego kind of thinks that even though like cmfs are five dollars and and whatever um, but you know, if this was just minifigures and something really small that came in one of those like blister packs or bubble packs or whatever, um, and it was still $10, this would probably, you know, this, that would be $2 and 50 cents per, uh, per minifigure here. And then this is, you know, no stickers. This is pretty good. This, I don't know if this is too big to be in a poly bag. It might be able to fit in a poly bag. I don't know if Lego would do this and like a J minifigure in a poly bag, but that might be really great. Actually, that might be super cool to just have that $5 buy in here. But I think $10 is a great price for Lego sets. I think it's an important price to have met. I'm glad it's not $11, although I definitely could have seen them charging 11 for this. Could have seen them charging 15. Very glad that it's at 10. And that makes, you know, it, it feels like a very good value. You know, I don't know if these figures are going to be particularly worth much in the aftermarket maybe maybe they will maybe they won't but it depends on how well this set sells but you get four minifigures in a ten dollar set they all have alternate faces they all have printing on the midsection they all have printing on you know good printing metallic printing on the torsos printing on the legs printing on the backs they have their accessories uh three of them have dual molded like head pieces and the other one has a, a different head piece there so there's like a lot of good stuff uh, and I wish all Lego kind of minifigures had this level of detail and specificity and also was valued kind of the way these are and then the mech here feels like a very solid bonus or if this is making up a, a lot of it if this is worth two dollars three dollars four dollars five dollars then you know these might even be worth less than two dollars uh just breaking down the approximate value of all the component parts of the set with its ten dollar price point so i think that's uh really really great and there's there's play built in here there is potentially army building potential although these two characters i don't know how many duplicates you would want but as far as the wolf characters if you wanted to build a a big army of the wolf max mask faction this might be a way to do it uh and that's pretty fair actually price wise uh so that's really good and uh i like this a lot i i think this is really really great i think it's great for play um a ten dollar set for a gift for younger people any different people maybe not as advanced of builders all different people this could be an impulse buy this could be you know four minifigures is great to have different interactions set up little battle scenes and you do have one of them that can have some like extra stuff there which is another super cool thing so uh, i feel like that's really really great uh in here so appreciate that a lot and you know, the other set that was had four minifigures but had some, like, special ones was the Kai's Elemental Fire Mech, and that had the Wolf uh, Mask Mech, and four minifigures, including, like, Jordana, Kai, Zane, and a Wolf Mask Mori Warrior. That set is $30. Now, the Mech is... Uh, a huge amount more substantial than this i mean even the wolf mech is probably more substantial than this certainly has more visual weight to it i don't know if it ends up having more pieces or less pieces or whatever but this is uh size wise smaller and um you know that sets three times as much as this one and uh you know not all of that is for the minifigures and all of that's pretty much for the mech but i i still think this is like very very good value uh and so um 
yeah, this is excellent. I'll show the extra pieces here, uh, and we can see that extra of the uh, stud shooter trigger over here, extra of the claw, extra of the pin, another extra of the, kind of the uh, projectiles for the stud shooter. So I have two loaded up in here, two over there, and then you get one extra one, which is typical. Yeah, this set is 78 pieces for $10, but um, that's great. You know, compared to some of the friends sets that are $10, or $11, some of the city sets that are $10 or $11, uh, this feels really, really good. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me on some level of um, micro fighters from Star Wars, which I think those were $10 and then they got bumped up and uh, whatever, like the N1, I think was, uh, you know, 15 or 16 or something like that retail. But this feels like some of those but with more figures better production work minifigures and uh an interesting little thing here so i think thinking about it in that context of like micro fighters or something uh makes this feel like a great value and uh you know compared to some of the city sets i've been liking a lot of the ten dollar city sets i've liked some of the eleven dollar ones some of the eleven dollar friend sets um same for like ten dollar marvel sets uh which like the shuri's lab and the guardians headquarters and stuff like that those usually have like two minifigures and uh some building and, and this one has four so i think this is like a stellar deal even though you know these aren't associated with Disney or whatever else so they don't have the other IP licensing kind of tax uh, that Marvel and Star Wars and different things has but you know on some level even though it's Lego's property it's Lego's IP you know Ninjago is bigger than just lego sets so these characters have appeared in in tv shows surely produced by lego or whatever and owned by them i assume um and movies and other stuff so they they have kind of some of the stuff that feels like it, it's almost like a broader ip there and so yeah this is great this is really really good i think i spent more time talking about this than i intended to because it's a relatively small set but i really like it and uh, i enjoyed talking about it uh, and i uh, enjoyed building it i always do so very good i like it if you like this video please click the thumbs up and give it a like if you like my other videos click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i'll be doing here in the future including more lego ninjago dragons rising sets uh more mech sets and then just tons of other lego sets from all different themes all different shapes size price point piece count old sets new sets tons of different stuff so subscribe so you don't miss any of those upcoming videos subscriptions help me a lot i appreciate it so uh thank you very much and if you want to support this channel in a different way you can do that right here on youtube with membership supers and thanks and i still have the patreon it's linked in the video description linked on my channel page patreon.com slash so bricks and with the membership and that uh patreon you can get access to all my videos early and some other exclusive stuff and it just shows uh, a, a different form of support so i very much appreciate it and i appreciate each and every person that uh likes comments subscribes all of that stuff really really helps so it means a lot to me so thank you very much and with all that said until next time thanks bye